In this video, we are going to talk about these True HQ Ultra High Speed HDMI cables filmed and uploaded in Glorious HDR. Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. When I reviewed the Zeskit Ultra High Speed HDMI cables last year, some of you asked me if there are any alternatives in the UK and maybe the rest of Europe when it comes to ultra high speed HDMI 2.1 cables and TrueHQ which is a British manufacturer based in Milton Keynes has kindly sent me these ultra high speed HDMI 2.1 cables this is the 2 meter version and this is the 3 meter version I don't know why they come in different colors but if I undo the strap, you can see that they are fairly flexible, fairly nimble and compared with the Zeskit cables, it is less stiff, which is a good thing. Never thought I would say that. But this will allow you to get to spots that are normally quite difficult to get to. And if I can start using the HDMI certification app on this Samsung Note 10 Plus to scan the labels and the holograms on this packaging, we shall see whether these cables are indeed authentic as determined by the app. So if I can fire up the app. Now, the sun is blazing down here and it is fairly reflective. So I have to make sure that, you know, I... get it in the square and you can see that I hope it's a congratulations yes it is a congratulations and it is indeed a true HQ cable the 2 meter version as scanned and identified by the app and it is a perfect match next let's scan this 3 meter cable if I can go here and again you can see that it is a pass. So from the point of view of the app, these are guaranteed to be authentic by the HDMI forum, which is the organization responsible for certifying and licensing these HDMI products. And now the organization have decided on a name of ultra high speed HDMI cables to describe these certified HDMI 2.1 cables. So when you look online, when you go into stores, if you can even visit a store now that lockdown has eased, you need to look for an ultra high speed HDMI cable rather than HDMI 2.1 cable when it comes to certification. But rather than just trusting the results of the certification app, I also did my own testing. So first, I hooked up these cables to a Denon X2700H AV receiver, which has a secret HDMI cable test function. And I determined that these cables managed to pass 40 gigabits per second of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth. Now, some of you may ask why only 40 gigabits per second and not the full HDMI 2.1 bandwidth of 48 gigabits per second. Now, this is not the fault of these cables. This is actually a limitation on the AV receiver itself. So these 2020 AV receivers, they mostly use a Nuvoton chipset, which is capped at 40 gigabits per second, which is why they can only test up to 40 gigabits per second of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth. But as a failsafe or backup, I also decided to hook up these cables from an RTX 3090 graphics card that NVIDIA has been kind enough to loan to me to an LG C9, which of course some of you may know, and in fact, some of you LG C9 owners like to brag about, has the full 48 gigabits per second of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth in its SOC. So I managed to pass 4K 120Hz at 12-bit 444 resolution, no problem, from the RTX 3090 to the LG C9 using these cables. So as far as I'm concerned, these cables, I've used them without any problems whatsoever. And if you buy from Amazon now, I believe that the packaging will come with this guaranteed authenticity hologram which means that you know you can be reassured that these cables have passed the stringent testing that has been stipulated by the hdmi forum 
If you'd like to watch more videos on HDMI 2.1, I've created a playlist here. If you'd like to click on it, and I will see you in the next video.